Hey, what's up guys? Gian here of Gadget Pilipinas. Welcome back to the channel. I've been using the Steam Deck, ROG Ally, and the new Lenovo Legion Go quite extensively, and I'm going to break down which one is best for different needs. I have not picked up the new Steam Deck OLED model yet, but based on my experience with the new current Steam Deck, I don't see myself upgrading until the Steam Deck 2 comes out. But first, let's do a quick specs rundown. The Steam Deck has an AMD Zen 2 CPU with RDNA 2 graphics up to 16 gigs of RAM and up to 512 gig of NVMe SSD. The display is 7 inch with 1280 by 800 resolution and 60 hertz refresh rate. Now the ROG Ally steps it up with an AMD Zen 3 Plus CPU, RDNA 2 graphics up to 16 gigs of RAM, up to 512 gig of SSD, and a 7 inch display with 1920 by 1080 resolution and 120 hertz refresh rate with adaptive sync. And now finally, we have the Lenovo Legion Go, which matches the Ally CPU and GPU combo. It has a 16 gigs of RAM, up to one terabyte SSD, and rocks a gorgeous 8.8 inch display with 2560 by 1600 resolution and 144 hertz refresh rate. Now, let me talk about the best device in terms of performance. I believe that performance depends on the demands of games that you usually play. This is the reason why this is a very tricky category to judge the three handheld gaming devices that I have. Now for lower TDP performance and efficiency, the Steam Deck is still the champ. Its custom AMD APU may be a bit dated now, but it sips power and can play the latest game surprisingly well at 800p resolution. At its maximum 15 TDP, the Steam Deck mostly exhibits better performance than the ROG Ally and Legion Go. And this gives the Steam Deck so much value for the price Valve asks. Most games, especially the ones that are credited to be very optimized, run very well on the Steam Deck, despite having a lower configuration. Games like Cyberpunk 2077 even has a setting for the Steam Deck. This is perfect as well if you're into playing reverse bullet hell and farming sim games. But if you want the absolute highest performance out of a handheld, the ROG Ally and the Legion Go pull ahead with their newer AMD Silicon. They can push higher or much higher frame rates at higher resolutions than the Steam Deck. But between these two, performance is essentially a tie, though the Legion Go's faster RAM may give it a slight edge in some workloads. I usually swap the Legion Go and ROG Ally whenever I leave the house. If I will have to play games with text optimized for smaller displays, I will bring the ROG Ally with me. Now, since both devices are already packed with 2TB of SSD storage, having a micro SD card on the device is a plus factor. Unfortunately, this is the downside of the ROG Ally because of uh, exceedingly high reports of devices suffering from having their micro SD cards corrupted due to the placement of the SD card reader. In terms of display, there is no question that the Legion Go has the best display of the bunch. That massive 8.8 inch 1600p 144Hz panel is just gorgeous for gaming. The ROG Ally's 1080p 120Hz display is still great, and the DeX lower res 60Hz screen looks quite dated in comparison. Now, if you're given the chance to select between a Steam Deck OLED or the ROG Ally, I would recommend that you get yourself a Steam Deck OLED instead. You will get the usual Steam Deck performance benefits plus a banger OLED display that helps in screen quality and even battery life. Now, when it comes to connectivity, the Legion Go also gets points for this with Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2, and the ability to output to displays over USB-C. The Deck and Ally are limited to Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5. Also, the fact that the Legion Go is the only one among the three that sports two USB Type-C ports, it gives more reason for users to receive better value on this much bigger handheld gaming device. But for sound, the ROG Ally's front firing speakers still provide the punchiest, most immersive audio experience to my ears. The Steam Deck speakers are decent, and the Legion Go speakers just don't do it for me. 
Legion Go speakers is its weakest feature and the only way to improve it is to download FX sound. However, with that solution available, it still does not give the best sound on a gaming handheld. Now, battery life is another big win for the Steam Deck. Even the original model can get 3 hours for lighter games and media consumption. The Ally and the Legion will drain their batteries much faster on their load, often in just an hour or barely an hour and a half for demanding games. Now, speaking of value, you just can't beat the Steam Deck's price to performance ratio. The base 64 gig model starts at $399. Now, while the Ally and Legion Go come at $699, performance alone is a good indication of its win in this category. So, at the end of the day, while the ROG Ally and Legion Go are awesome pieces of hardware with some great features, albeit not perfect, I still think the Steam Deck is the overall best value and most well-rounded device currently available in the market. Its performance per watt is unmatched, the battery life is stellar, the speakers are good, and the SteamOS with Steam's library integration just provides such a smooth console-like experience. Now, the Ally and Legion Go are more powerful for sure with their high resolutions and refresh rates. And the Legion Go in particular has some cool extras like that kickstand and also the detachable controllers. But for my needs and gaming habits, I find myself reaching for the Steam Deck more often, especially for more casual games. It just works extremely well as an all-around portable gaming machine. But if I need to play on a much bigger display and with better performance at high TDP, the Legion Go is now my new go-to. And with that said, I'm definitely keeping an eye on whatever Valve is planning for the Steam Deck too, if they can maintain that efficiency while boosting performance with uh, the newer AMD hardware, maybe, I don't know, maybe Zen 3, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, it could be a game changer. But those are, of course, just my thoughts. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of these handheld PCs and if you have any bet, and which one is your favorite. Smash that like button if you enjoyed also this video and subscribe for more tech content coming soon. Thanks so much for watching. This has been GN and I'll see you next time. Bye!